Hi, I'm Adam Schlender. I'm with DJI Innovations. This is our Phantom Quadcopter and our recently released uh, H3 2D gimbal custom made for the GoPro Hero 3. The gimbal is made uh, very balanced very specifically for a given camera. Uh, DJI has been in the business of making really high-end flight controllers for a long time um, and now uh, our flight controller which was $12,000 six years ago is now the brains of this guy uh, for, for under 700 bucks. So uh, the technology is really getting accessible, which is what makes this really easy to fly. Um, traditionally, remote control helicopters are uh, very challenging to fly and therefore very expensive because you crash them a lot. Uh, so the autopilot system is really what makes it uh, stable, easy to maneuver, and then subsequently uh, easy to create really great cinematic shots with. Top speed, about 30 miles an hour. Uh, and the range is at least 300 meters, so uh, that's both straight up or in any direction. And the FAA has an advisory that says uh, keep a line of sight under 400 feet, um, so the you know the Phantom will will uh, allow you to get the highest altitude within those guidelines. And I come from a filmmaking background. I'm a filmmaker. Uh, I was always compelled about the idea of being able to get shots that were never possible before, uh, things that I had forever imagined that you know, either wouldn't have the budget for or just there wasn't a, a good tool for. Uh, and now it's becoming incredibly, increasingly accessible um, and, and everything's really possible at this point. There's a, a grave distinction between um, you know, what, what is sort of the scary military drone uh, and SUAS uh, or small unmanned aerial systems. Um, you know, really the application for these things it's not, it's not a, it's, it's not even a, it's not even a decent tool for spying on, on somebody. Understandably, uh, it's a bit of a new technology, and um, you know, like with anything, you know, I think we as a sort of a society should proceed with um, due diligence and, and caution. Um, but you know, our our platforms are really designed for uh, aerial cinematography, aerial photography. You know, they're they're creative tools, they're they're devices to tell stories, and then there's a myriad of. Uh, I guess very useful uh, industrial uses. The thing that's most exciting to me about this, even for myself, is that we've only begun to know what to do with it. You know, um, a lot of the videos that you see online are, are, are fantastic. You know, uh, just like the, the experience of flying around. You know what I mean? And it's like it, it, you know, with a, with with an FPV and the ability, you know, particularly with um, like FPV goggles, it's this really immersive experience, and it's sort of like this you know, dream of flight that we all have as, as kids sort of being actualized. Um, and once you've had that experience, uh, maybe it sounds a little uh, trite or something, but it's, it's actually pretty, pretty incredible. <laughs>